five computer-based home business ideas. If you enjoy computers and are a tech savvy, then a computer-based home business could be ideal for you. This type of work can be done virtually from anywhere, as long as there is internet access. If you have the knowledge, skill and equipment necessary, you can start your business fairly quickly and affordably. Welcome to the Business in Africa YouTube channel and thanks for watching. On this channel, we bring to you exciting business ideas and information about Africa and the world at large. So if you are new here, consider subscribing and also turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Also make sure you drop us a comment and let us know which topics you want us to cover in our subsequent videos. We also go through our comments and we keep doing videos that will add value to the business in African community. So drop that comment right now. Here are the five ideas you can start looking into now. One, computer tutor or trainer. Male teacher helping pre-adolescent boy at laptop in classroom. Just because we live in a digital age doesn't mean everyone is a computer savvy. That's where the computer tutor or trainer comes in. A home-based computer tutor teaches individuals or business how to best use their computer programs and the internet. Classes can be done virtually via video conference. In some cases, you visit clients in person at their home, office, or another meeting location. Your clients can be diverse from children to seniors and everyone in between. You might be hired by businesses that need help learning specific specific programs or computer related tasks such as setting up a database or creating spreadsheets. You can even work with groups, training an entire office or you can run classes either through your home if allowed by zoning or through a local adult education resource such as the senior center. Tutoring does require patience, especially since technology has its own set of terms that many don't know or understand. Computer repair, human wearing burqa repairing a computer while child watches. Computer repair specialists need to have a deep understanding of the mechanics. Computer repair specialists need to have a deep understanding of the mechanics and programming systems of computers in order to identify and fix problems. Individuals and small businesses that don't have a tech team on staff hire computer repair technicians to fix, clean or replace their hardware and software on time on a budget with a smile. If you're running your business from home, you likely go to the client's home or office to make repairs. You need to have tools required to diagnose system issues as well as to open a computer to fix or replace a hard drive or other internal device. Along with repair, you can offer computer and network setup including security setup to help keep clients computer virus and malware free. Desktop publishing man looking at clear computer screen if your computer skills include creativity as well as an understanding of page layout and graphics desktop publishing is a valuable home business idea to consider why there are many diy programs for desktop publishing many business need customized creations the many tasks desktop publishers perform include producing books newsletters magazines brochures internet content and graphic design for low logos and signage. Many online entrepreneurs need help in creating their products such as planners, charts and more. You might even work for private individuals creating personalized gifts that is photo calendar, announcements or invitations and other items. Internet marketing services. Woman handling online marketing. If you're a savvy internet user and understand marketing, especially internet marketing, then this type of business could be for you. Many organizations of all sizes, but especially small and single owner businesses need help with SEO, PPC, website promotion, and social networking. An advantage to providing online marketing service over the other ideas, such as tutoring, is that you can work with clients all over the world. You're not restricted to servicing clients only in your local neighborhood. With that said, being able to meet clients at their businesses can be helpful, especially when starting out. You can offer a full service internet marketing business or you can specialize, such as social media management 
or email marketing programming web designer showing off his design similar to desktop publishing many diy tools are available to make building a website easier for the non-tech type nevertheless there is still an opportunity for web designers and programmers especially as the number of online businesses grows many online entrepreneurs can set up a basic site but aren't able to customize it to their needs others need bells and whistles such as e-commerce or membership management that can be done faster with less potential for glitches by the experienced designer or programmer. You can specialize in a specific platform such as WordPress or a programming language. However, the more variety of skills you can offer, the more marketable you'll be. An advantage of web design and programming is that you can work with clients locally or worldwide. Furthermore, you can offer one-time services such as website setup or maintenance packages in which the client pays you money to monitor, update and manage the website. There you have it viewers. Those were the 5 computer based home business ideas. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave us a comment. Also let us know which topics you want us to cover in our subsequent videos. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of our exciting videos. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video. Top 5 Business Trends Some of these business trends are sources of good business opportunities. Others are trends we need to incorporate into our small business practices to stay competitive and keep or grow our market share. Here are 5 business trends that small business can profit from this year and beyond. Number 1. Cloud Computing Small businesses can directly benefit from the cloud computing business trend by using cloud-based applications to cut down the expense and trouble of doing the same thing themselves. Using someone else's mail servers through the internet can be much more cost-effective and hassle-free than setting up your own email server in-house. For example, especially if you don't have a dedicated IT person or department. Moving to a cloud-based accounting application can allow you to check accounts, send invoices, track expensive, and more from your mobile phone or tablet. There are disadvantages of cloud computing for small businesses too, but they are outweighed by the advantages in my opinion. But with increasing numbers of businesses looking to contract our business processes, small businesses are also well positioned to benefit from the cloud computing trend by picking up some businesses. It's not size or location that matters with the cloud, it's expertise. Number two, social media. Social media is one of those business trends your small businesses can't afford to ignore. Facebook isn't just something that kids are using anymore and social networks are increasingly becoming business networks as people's social, personal, business life converge. Simply put, if that's where they are, that's where you need to be if you want to sell more widgets. That doesn't necessarily mean that you need to get heavily into social media marketing this year. Although if you do it properly, it can be a real sales booster. But you do need to at least start developing a social media presence for your small business. If you're just starting out with using social media for business, my advice is to choose one social media tool and work with it over time. For instance, you might put up a Facebook fan page for your business and try to engage customers and get them interested in your products and services. Services. Number three, mobile marketing. Remember when people used to carry around a laptop and a phone? It's something we are seeing less and less of because increasingly, what people used to do on their laptops, they do now on their phones. You don't need a separate computer to browse the web work on documents or play games because phones are computers. One implication of this trend is that you need to be sure your business is mobile friendly. Are your web page available in mobile versions so they look good on phone screens? Another implication is that some of the desktops, laptops in your business may be redundant or replaceable with phones or tablets. And the third is that it's time to develop a mobile marketing strategy. Using mobile devices to research products is becoming common consumer behavior and you don't want your business to be left off screen. Number four, rise of the phone and tablet app. This trend is also consumer driven. This trend is also consumer driven and closely related to mobile computing. Above, we said the phone is a computer, but it's also so much more. Thanks to the public's insatiable appetite for phone apps. Business-wise, 
phone apps are replacing everything from mileage logbooks through credit card readers. An iPhone app called Square, for example, lets you accept credit card payments by plugging a card reader into your iPhone. The iPad can also be used as a POS system. Your small business can benefit from this business trend by using phone apps to eliminate some of your other office equipment and supplies. You might also benefit by creating and selling your own phone app. The Amazon app is an infamous example of a shopping app. It scans barcodes and comparison shops, letting customers know if they can get a better deal through Amazon's website or not. Number 5. Corporate Social Responsibility Corporate social responsibility isn't just for the big businesses. Small businesses too can re-upgrade benefits from being perceived as good members of the community. It matters to consumers. A 2010 survey by Toronto-based advertising agency Benis Brian found that 66% of Canadians said that corporate reputation has a significant impact on the brands they choose. Chris Atchison, being a good corporate citizen, helps small guys compete the globe and mall. And it matters to other businesses who want to make sure that their suppliers are as green and socially responsible as possible and appropriate to their own corporate images. The benefit. Besides being a good thing to do it itself, it allows small businesses to compete with larger companies and can significantly improve the bottom line. If you don't already have a corporate social responsibility strategy, this is the year to get one in place and start publicizing your work for good causes.